This is Living Sand. I'll show you the box here. Let's see. Oh, it's kind of dark in here. This particular box of Living Sand uh, cost almost $80, $80 seventy nine comes with four pounds of sand. It isn't a lot of sand. It certainly does not fill the tray. <clears throat> I think you need at least double that to fill the tray, but um, it comes with all these tools to make sand castles and things, and these legs for the tray, more tools. These four tools are the same tools that come with the small bag of living sand. <clears throat> the small bag is about like this. Here it is. Now just to show you, um, living sand, um, it's kind of doughy. This is a, this is new, just out of the box, so it's not, hasn't been broken apart. Once you start playing with it and pulling on it, it gets really loose, like actual sand. But it doesn't break apart. You can mold it really well. Um, and how does this compare to kinetic sand? Because I've looked at both kinetic sand and... Uh, living sand. Kinetic sand is 98% sand, 2% polymer. This stuff allegedly is made of shells and sand, ground up really, really, really fine, plus uh, I think mineral oil maybe? Uh, maybe some, pol probably some polymer, but <clears throat> they haven't been precise on the contents as they've recently patented it and I guess they don't want people stealing their ideas, but they do feel different. The living sand is lighter than the kinetic stands. Kinetic sand, it's really light, I wish I could show you, but it feels pretty awesome. Um, again, it's all kind of stuck together like dough right now, just out of the box, but it will um, become looser as you, as you play with it, and it will always, you know, do this and stay together much better than actual sand. Um, <clears throat> whether to get living sand or kinetic sand, that was my <clears throat> question. Uh, it doesn't really matter. They're just different. The kinetic sand is grainier, like brown sugar, a little heavier. This is lighter, slightly doughier. I think it, it feels a little softer. But, I don't know, they're both fine. Uh, the prices, I guess, are pretty comparable. The kinetic sand often doesn't come with the tools and such. But, um, at any rate, here is the living sand. If it was, uh, if I'd been playing with it a little more, you'd see it fall apart a little more. Um more like the kinetic sand, but they're different. Feel them, decide. I kind of decided to go with living sand because it has more of a doughy feel to it, but you will definitely need more than four pounds to fill the tray, unless you want to use your own tray. It doesn't dry out, lasts forever, apparently. You can leave it out and it should be okay, although comments from users online have said that when you leave it out forever and ever that it might dry out a little bit, so I don't know. Your choice to put it away or or not. Anyway, there it is. Living sand.